हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जे डी बॉट्स दिस इज़ द बॉट सीरीज ऑन मल्टी क्लाउड चैट बॉट इट्स बीन अ मंथ वेर वी हैवेंट अपलोडेड एनी कंटेंट ऑन दिस मल्टी क्लाउड चैट बॉट सो सॉरी अबाउट दैट सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू विल बी क्रिएटिंग द अजियर बॉट रिसोर्सेज एंड कनेक्ट द बॉट to the microsoft teams channel and show you how you can allow your organization to have access to this particular chatbot and how you can add this chatbot on the sidebar like side load window okay so i'll be creating two resources one is for the developer as your bot and another one is production as your bot okay so let's search for azure bot so the first resource name i am just giving it as dev and i'll use the same resource group let's change the pricing tier to free and review and create by the time this is completed i'll start the process of creating my next resource that is for the production use also one important thing to note that i'm not sure whether i have completed this piece but uh, let me quickly check that so i think yeah we haven't developed much on this chatbot we just connected this to clu okay so that is fine so now let's go to resource group i need to make sure that i create two resources for the storage account one we have already created and one is for the dev person dev and one is for the developer purpose the reason being when we are implementing most of the functionality in microsoft teams let's for example if we have one storage account and that we have connected to both production bot and the dev bot then we will have it will not work because it will have two different conversation ids for a user so in order to differentiate that we will be segregating both dev resources and production resources okay so i am just naming it as dev and review and create also let me see uh, if i have any text that will be displayed on the chatbot i think we do have a adaptive card if i am not wrong yes we have adaptive card for now let me just uh, run this bot in emulator just to have a remind me on this particular chatbot because it's already a month since i forgot what was the implementation that i have completed okay so it's not working where is the issue it's fine uh we can this major session is only to connect to teams we'll not test it out on teams we'll debug in the later session all right so 
let's go to our resource group this is for the dev bot let me copy the app id and let's put them in app settings for development also let me put the app type for multi-tenant application app password is not required sorry app tenant id is not required for multi multi-tenant application so i'm just going to put three values app type app id and app password you can leave tenant id as blank okay so this seems to be fine let's set up ngrok so if you need help with setting up ngrok what you can do to set up the ngrok you need to go to ngrok.com sign up then follow the steps that is shown on the website on the dashboard page where you need to configure your token then you will see your account user id here once you configure the token you can run this particular command let me share that with you so for quick development and quick opening for the ngrog i have uh, created a batch file so whenever I want, I'm developing my bot, I just double click on the batch file to run this particular command. So you need to run this command from where you downloaded the ngrog. Yeah. So if your application is running on another port, make sure you change that here and yeah this is the command that you need to follow once you have ngrok up and running copy the ngrok url go to your azure bot paste it here slash api slash messages okay And since we are developing is this for the Microsoft Teams channel, go to channels and we need to configure Microsoft Teams. There are two ways to connect to Microsoft Teams. If for quick and easy way, go to channels and click on this URL, open in Teams. Yeah, but in this session we'll be going through manifest route because that is what it is recommended. So what I'll do, I will get the manifest sample from the Microsoft Teams samples. This I have already downloaded the repository. I'll just pick uh, this one bot conversation and I'll pick up this folder and put it here okay and this one I need to update with my app ID copy your app ID and paste it here there are multiple places you need to replace this with okay only two places all right and this is the old manifest uh, syntax this id is now changed to bot id okay so if you see id here make sure you change that to the bot id 
and we'll be targeting this chatbot only for the personal chat you can also target it for the group chat and teams but for now i'll only target it for the personal chat and i'm not going to set up the command list for now so i'll just delete this command list command lists are nothing but a quick list of options that you show when you when the user is typing in the chat box so it will pop up a list and user can choose the option from there we will not implement that yet but maybe in the future let's see so let's change the package devi write okay multi cloud chatbot okay let's keep it multi cloud and let's add the website url and also add the app name so this is a short name and this is a long name so i'll just add multi cloud bot as a long name description this bot allows you to interact with multiple cloud providers for now let me keep only this for now okay and yeah valid domains you can keep it but yeah it still works without the valid domains but you can keep it if engrok is not allowed all right so what you need to do just go to the file location select all and zip it okay once you zip it we need to upload this package to our teams channel um so let's do that if you want this chatbot to be available to your whole organization then let me show you that how you can do it we go to apps if you are an administrator you can directly do it from here upload an app to your org app catalog okay if you are an admin if you are not an admin you can use a third option then administrator has to approve your request and it will be available to the whole organization if you are a developer use the first one and if you don't want other employees in your organization to view your chatbot just select the first one so that means only you will be seen and you can develop it further yeah so we'll be using the second option if you are not an admin use the third option since i am the admin i'll be just going with the second option just upload your manifest okay so now as soon since i am the admin i'll see this chatbot added in my organization catalog now most of the developers have this question how we can add it in the side load yeah along with these apps so what you can do since if you are an admin or you can ask your admin to follow these steps go to admin portal 
this is the office 365 admin portal if you have the direct link to teams admin center you can go otherwise you can go from here as well okay now go to teams app set up policies click on global and here you see the pinned application so as of now you are adding them to the side load as a teams app bar but user can always remove them or add their own applications here for now let me add this one multi cloud okay so i need to be on the priority so i'll move this up so let me put that here after the calendar okay so it might take some time mostly uh, 24 hours to reflect these changes for the whole organization if you have a small organization then you see in couple of minutes and you can also force install this for the whole organization yeah do it here from here yeah so that uh, it will install for everyone okay so let's see how it goes so let's see as soon as i install the application currently the application is not installed it is available to the organization okay the app okay it might take some time to changes to get reflected but let's see what's the issue yeah now it's working okay now let me add that i'll not see anything because our application have some issue issues so it will show me bad gateway yeah but here you can see after the calendar i can see my pinned application so i can i think i cannot move it that's good that means yeah yeah i can remove that but i think i cannot move it okay that's fine and here whatever uh, values that you have given like bot name your description policy privacy policy terms of use and your website everything will be here okay all right ah oh, yeah one more thing i did not mention so these are the icons that will be visible here yeah so you can change there are like uh, you need to follow the guidelines uh, what is the size of this icon and uh, how this uh, outline icon should be visible you can always follow microsoft guidelines so this one should be i think 192 192 for uh, development purpose these are not that much important but when you publish your app to teams app store to make it available for outside organization yeah in that case these uh, you know you need to follow the exact guidelines for size what's the outline color so those are important okay all right yeah thanks everyone